Hello Terra fans, I'm Gustavo Gonzalez, lead engineer of the battery team. Today we're sharing a portion of our engineering presentation. We'll be showcasing our battery and powertrain. Please enjoy. Uh, Gustavo has been leading our <clears throat> amazing structural battery pack team, uh, making you know, one of the industry's uh, most energy dense battery packs. Uh, it's been great to see the evolution over the last year, uh, working with Sandy's team, um, analyzing other people's, um, you know, battery packs that are in production uh, and taking you know, all the good um, and adding in some of our um, <laughs> proprietary technologies to really make this a, a super energy dense pack uh, that really works well for our 42 kilowatt launch edition uh, vehicles. Um, these are just some renderings of how the pack uh, nope. kind of comes together. Some of the different layers that you're looking at are the cooling plates on the individual modules. So a lot of the speculation in the forums uh, and online chatter have been, is, is the battery air cooled or not? No, the battery is liquid. It's liquid cooled, liquid heated. So the thermal management of the battery is liquid. Um, whether it's heated or cooled depends on the environment, but it is a liquid cooled battery. Uh, Carl's been doing an amazing job leading our powertrain team, uh, working with the LAFE to co-develop uh, more energy efficient, lighter weight, um, less part count um, uh, propulsion device. And this really is the, the most efficient powertrain you can put on a vehicle now. Yeah, if you look at the, it might be difficult to see the power curve, uh, but the, the standard motor that LAFE had developed uh, was very efficient in a regime that was not our regime. So it was very efficient under a certain, under a higher load. Uh, that you'd need for a heavy vehicle. Well, with the Aptera being so lightweight and also not having having virtually no drag resistance at speed, it was in a different load regime compared to what they designed for. So we had to shift the design of the motor, change the windings, change the arrangement of the ba of the magnets uh, to shift that sort of efficiency mode from where it was to where Aptera will dwell at high high speeds, and uh, that improved the efficiency tremendously. Uh, this is kind of the motor breakout, but I think it's significant to point out that, um, you know, the the upright, the thing that holds the, the motor to the suspension is actually part of the motor. So we uh, were able to reduce part count and reduce weight, and it's just a, a, a much easier assembly to put together. All right, to be clear, th this is not their motor. This is the one that we co-developed. Yeah. Um, we also co-developed a silicon carbide inverter uh, with a partner um, uh, just north of us, uh, and it's great to have an inverter that's you know 97% efficient versus kind of the industry 92% efficient. Uh, you can take that extra efficiency, that 5% extra efficiency, and take that right out of the battery pack because you're not losing those electrons as they're going through the inverter to the motor. Um, you don't have to have the battery power to, to push those electrons. So the money we save on battery, <laughs> we can spend on a more sophisticated inverter. Yeah, and this is a Rev-A inverter. Uh, Rev-B, the package is, I'd say, significantly smaller. So we don't, we're not showing a rendering of that yet, but we have to leave something for a surprise. But uh, the silicon carbide makes that efficiency possible. To view the unedited presentation, join our accelerator program at invest.achara.us. Thanks for your support. Thank you so much.